a Visual Traders Studio training video using the VTS Toolbox. This is the VTS Toolbox. The VTS Toolbox consists of a number of panes. To select a pane, move your mouse over the pane and left click. This will display the contents of the pane. The VTS Toolbox is used to provide access to all VTS elements. It also provides access to the VTS Knowledge Base. The Knowledge Base contains a library of learning materials such as help files, links to web pages and videos. To open a Knowledge Base resource, expand a menu and double-click the menu item. This will launch the resource in a new tab in the drawing area. The rest of the toolbox panes are used for accessing VTS elements. The VTS elements are the note element, the variable element, the logic element, the function element or drawing, the MQL code element and the end element. The new elements pane is used to create a new element. A new element can be added to the drawing pad by selecting the icon and dragging it onto the pad. A note element is used to add useful comments to your trading system. For example, if the purpose of a function is to check the level of the RSI indicator, you may want to add a note explaining this to help you remember the next time you review your trading system. Note, elements have no effect on a trading system's execution. They are placed directly into the MQL code, where they can be read, but they are ignored by the compiler. A variable element is used to store data. A logic element is used to evaluate a logical statement, such as if a value is above the ADX level of 50, then return true, otherwise return false. A function drawing element is used to create a new drawing. An MQL code element is used to add native MQL code anywhere on a VTS drawing. An end element is used to terminate a function drawing. All VTS drawings must terminate with at least one end element. The variable pane is used to access variables that have already been defined. They are organized within a menu by the system where they were originally created. A variable can be added to the drawing pad by selecting the variable name and dragging it onto the pad. The logic pane is used to access logics that have already been defined. They are organized within a menu by the system where they were originally created. A logic can be added to the drawing pad by selecting the logic name and dragging it onto the pad. The function pane is used to access user functions that have already been defined, as well as all of the MT platform functions, including your custom indicators. The user functions are organized within a menu by the system where they were originally created. The MT platform functions are organized by their original MT category. A function can be added to the drawing pad by selecting the function name and dragging it onto the pad. This concludes using the VTS Toolbox training video. Thank you for watching and please see my other training videos for more information on using the Visual Traders Studio for MetaTrader.